Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Back up in it, performance review. Ultrafly 3 by Jordan, 110 bucks, pretty cheap. Pretty much a budget model. Mm -hmm. you can't get it on Nike.com though, which is weird. Uh, you can get it on like Finish Line East Bay. So if you guys want to get a pair, we'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started with the tractionness of the Ultrafly 3. Herringbone. Yep. Very, very, very soft and thin herringbone. But pretty deep. Yeah, I guess it's pretty deep. But outdoor use is definitely not recommended. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be very good. But how is it on a clean court? Clean court's pretty good. Um, not the best. Like, you stop on a dime stop. But it has a pretty good stop. Especially for lateral movements. You stop pretty damn hard. Dust is an issue though. Mm. Dust is pretty damn bad and I don't know why it doesn't really seem like dust will get stuck like on this like you see how thin that is? Yeah. I don't how how is dust gonna get stuck I on know. Right? So um but I mean I, dust was a, it was a huge issue. I mean wow. like if dust was present it like I never really got a good stop. It felt like dust was getting stuck on it and then I wipe, wipe, wipe and I try to stop again and never really stop so i i don't know dude like on the dust dusty setting these are like pretty damn bad for me maybe like the dust is trapped inside the grooves yeah. and the rubber's so soft that it bends oh you i know and, and then yeah. the dust connects with the ground and it's just not great i see yeah maybe that that is but like yeah dust is really bad so if you're playing on a dusty court then you probably should not get these but if you're playing on a clean court you should be good to go outdoor use is not good so overall, for me, I, I we play on the dusty court. Did not really like playing these too much because of that traction, um, and you do slide a little bit while it's dusty. So I'm never like a full slide out, like you know, like like you're playing in socks or something. But just like never a good stop, you know. Yeah. And also the traction is really really dead silent, no squeak at all. So if you if you like a squeak, I like a squeak. There's you gotta that. have a little squeak. Yeah, exactly. Moving on to the cushion, the cushion you have a fine on and you have a, I, I believe a heel and forefoot zoom in it. Heel, I could feel a little bit, but definitely I could feel the forefoot. It feels like it's top loaded and I could definitely feel it like right underneath my foot. It's slightly bouncy, not too crazy. Um, so, I mean, I really like it. The forefoot feels very, very nice. One thing I really didn't like about this cushion setup though is that it, it is caged. If you, if you look on the uh, on the back, it's like hard to tell because it's it's the same color. The same color. Yeah. But yeah, this whole lateral side on the heel is fully caged. Yes. With a hard rubber, right? Yes, and it makes it feel pretty damn clunky, dude. There's really no compression in the heel or anything. Um, if from the fine line, mm -hmm. from the fine line. So I mean, it is a little clunky, and you just do clunk, 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 and I, I don't like that, dude. Yeah. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit better since it's not like I don't know, like a hard plastic that's on it. And it's kind of rounded. Yeah, and it's kind of rounded, but it, it's still clunky. So I didn't like that. And then you the don't... whole forefoot is caged yeah. too, which is pretty much unnecessary for yes. a phylon, really. You know, exactly. for a thin phylon. Exactly. So I didn't really like that. Heel, heel to toe transition was not good. Court feel is not bad. Not the best, but it's not bad. Impact protection also isn't horrible. I mean, the, the zoom units feel good, but I mean, there's really no heel compression. So like once I, when I did like a heel strike, a pretty hard heel strike, I, I felt it like a good amount. So uh, impact protection wasn't the best. I mean, the, from the zoom, it's not bad though. The only part of the cushion I, I kind of like is uh, the forefoot zoom unit being you know kind of bouncy but other than that not really so uh, I didn't really like the cushion setup too much uh, so there's that moving on to the materials the material they kind they definitely killed it dude yeah these are nice yeah it feels like you know the JC3s yeah it feels like that ballistic nylon kind of like textile material and very supportive pretty damn thin uh, looks premium feels premium in the hand yeah it's like really thin and has like a soft sheen to it yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Uh, so it's pretty dope looking yeah, it conforms to your foot. Well, you have this uh, four foot shroud. It's basically a synthetic leather type of material. And uh, materials actually aren't bad, dude. It feels nice, supportive, conforms to your foot well. So, um, materials I really thoroughly enjoyed. Moving on to the fit. The fit is kind of weird. I go through the size, but there is a little bit of toe space. So, for me, I didn't really like that. And also, uh, width wise, I would say it's a little. No, normal slash wide, you know, definitely not 
it, it wasn't a good fit for my foot. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't enjoy it too much, but I added an insole, so that, that kind of helped. You can always do that if it's a little roomy. But um, if you're a wide footer and you're thick footer, then you should be pretty good with this shoe. So there is that as well. Cause like at first it was a pretty good fit, but like for some reason like stretched out, even though I didn't think it was gonna stretch out as, at all. Um, it did stretch out a little bit. So the fit kind of messed up while mm -hmm. I started breaking it in. So there's that. Moving on to supporting lockdown, no issues whatsoever. I mean, you're very, very locked into the, the footbed. You're not sliding out of the footbed at all. And uh, no lateral, Support issues at all. I didn't feel like I was, you know, mm -hmm. rolling out or anything. So you got some gnarly, gnarly Achilles pillows. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I mean, it's kind of an Achilles pillow, not really. Yeah, they kind of kind of wraps around the whole way. Yeah, it's not just on the side of the Achilles, but how's the ankle lockdown? I mean, the heel lockdown. Heel, it felt good. Yeah, yeah, no slippage or anything, no heel slippage. So there is that. Uh, heel uh, supporting lockdown felt really good. Moving on to weight. 11.78. Really? Yeah, it feels pretty damn light in the head, doesn't huh. it? Yeah, uh, the way I was holding it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't feel bulky. Uh, maybe a, not the most minimal feeling shoe. There is a little bit of puff in the ankle, but it feels pretty minimal. Um, but not the most responsive because of that traction. Like I was playing on dust, it was not the most responsive. And the clunk doesn't help it as well for that response time. But other than that, yeah, I, I guess it's it. Not the most responsive shoe, to be honest. Right. What's the overall comfort of the shoe? Overall comfort is actually not bad. Um, uh, materials feel nice, uh, cozy. It's a, it's pretty uh, padded in the ankle, so that feels nice. And the cushion, the zoom in, feel nice as well. So mm -hmm. just walking around and also playing in it, it's actually a pretty comfortable shoe to play in. Breaking time. Breaking time. Um, didn't really need to break in anything, I guess. And the materials are actually pretty soft out the gate as well. So it does get a little bit softer while you break it in, but it wasn't really like, oh, I needed to break it in to make it you know, perform better, you mm -hmm. know? So, and also the traction, not really. You didn't really need to break it in too much. It just sucked, I mean, on dust. So um, that didn't, you didn't really need to break in there. It and sucked also, right out of the box. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and also the cushion, I felt right out the box as well. So didn't really need to break anything. So no breaking time uh, really for the shoe at all. Uh, durability? Durability seems good besides the traction. Mm -hmm. Don't play with these outdoors. Aesthetics, I like these. I kind of like them. I just don't like the 23. Yeah, so the 23 is kind of weird, but they definitely have like a like a early 2000s aesthetic to them. Yeah, but kind of like new kinda, school. Yeah, kind of new school, but throwback. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, pretty dope. Um, um, so there's that. Ventilation? Ventilation sucked. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty hot shoe. You have five ventilation holes on the medial side, which don't do anything, I don't think. Right. So yeah, so watch out for that. I guess let's wrap it up. Wrapping things up, um, 110 bucks. Do I recommend it? Not really, I don't really like playing these. Clunk, not good. Traction on dust, not good. Uh, cushion, not definitely not my favorite. Materials is good, but like fit, not really good for me as well. So just because of those reasons, I didn't like it. And also, for those reasons, I don't think you should get it either. Um, yeah. So but if you just don't care about our opinion at all, we'll leave a link <laughs> in the description box below. Exactly, exactly. And you can go ahead and cop them. Yes. But anyways, that's the performance review on the Ultrafly 3. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.